The most memorable lessons I, I can remember from, <laughs> from school are, are the ones where we completely yeah. went off at a tangent, yeah. you know. And it often seems to come up in the space topic. That seems to be the one that okay. triggers. Yeah. We're talking about space and all of a sudden someone will say, uh, well, we're really insignificant then, aren't we? Mm. Now that question is a huge question. Yeah. Because Tom and I would look at the universe and, and draw the exact opposite conclusion. Right. It's not necessary um, to have a God to account for anything that, for which there is reliable evidence. Most people for most of history have believed in some kind of God and have believed in some kind of continued existence beyond the grave. Faith is the expression of the soul. You will ask me, why do I believe? And I will tell you, because my soul believes, because my soul is a piece of God. I firmly believe that anyone who thinks deeply about life very quickly discovers there are a number of huge issues out there, burning questions, the answers to which matter profoundly, because the answers that you come up with will affect so many other areas of your life. Perhaps the biggest burning question of them all is this one. Are we alone in a meaningless, purposeless universe, or is there some kind of creator, some kind of higher power out there? Now that's a hotly debated question. On the one hand, our culture has recently seen a resurgent atheism whose advocates tell us through their books, TV shows, shows and newspaper articles that anyone who even professes belief in a deity is simply insane and irrational. Yet for all of that, belief in God seems alive and well. Over 90% of people in the world, over 75% of Westerners, when surveyed, say they do believe in a higher power. The question simply will not go away. Is there a God?